Well, good morning, America. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, today I want to talk to you about uh, President Jim Bob's uh, job creation plan. You know, uh, all these uh, rich people out there, uh, big corporations and all that stuff, they tell you, you know, you got to uh, give me more tax breaks and uh, stuff like that. Uh, let me have less regulation so I can create the jobs. And, and uh, that's what they keep saying. They're the job creators. And uh, that's a bunch of bull. They ain't no job creators. They're liars. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, we didn't went through the 2008 when we had the big crash and all that stuff. And the stock markets have been just uh, skyrocketing. And the people up there on Wall Street have made more money than they ever made before. And there ain't no jobs out there. So you tell me where they're creating jobs. If they're creating them, they ain't creating them here in the United States of America. They're creating them somewhere over there in China or somewhere like that. So they're lying to you. So Jim Bob's come up with a job creation plan. It's very simple. There ain't nothing new. Other people talked about it. They just ain't done it. So when you put me up there in a presidential job and I uh, get the... Uh, Senators and congressmen out of the way, uh, we're gonna, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to start uh, uh, fixing the roads and the bridges here in the United States of America. Commerce can't move if they ain't got good roads and bridges and they're dangerous and everybody knows it. And Congress ain't passed no uh, tax increase on the gasoline since 1978, I think is when it was, last time they ever did anything. And they sit up there for, what, 30 years? And just let the roads crumble and crumble and crumble and uh, and I thought, well, they ain't gonna raise no taxes. Well, you got to raise taxes sometimes. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna start fixing the roads. And uh, you don't have to have a college education. All you got to do is be willing to work. And uh, Jim Bob will put you to work out there building the roads. And uh, and furthermore. Uh, the experienced people on the job, the ones that already know how to run the tractors and the bulldozers and the cranes and all that kind of stuff, that will be obligated to uh, teach the newcomers uh, uh, how to do the profession so that uh, a fella can get on a job like they used to back in the old days and uh, without no, uh, without no uh, training and learn how to do stuff like run a dozer or something like that and uh, to learn himself a profession. That's going to be part of the deal. So we'll take these young fellers that, that uh, maybe ain't gone to college and uh, don't want to go to college or something like that, and uh, they can uh, work out there and, and, and get a good profession of building roads. We need people to do that. Everybody can't go to college, and, uh, and uh, you can't have everybody in college and everybody be the boss. Somebody's got to do the damn work. And uh, so I'm looking for the fellows who want to work their way up uh, in a society. And uh, I'm going to give them a job. They're going to start at $10 an hour, maybe more. And, uh, and uh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outlaw part-time work. Ain't going to be no more part-time work. Uh, we're going to lower the 40 hour a week to 35 hours a week. That's going to be a, a federal law I'm going to pass. And... Uh, so everybody's going to be working full time and uh, get all the benefits that come with it. And uh, so you can't have no more part-time work in America. We don't need part-time. You can, if you can't, as an employer, if you can't hire somebody full-time, you don't need to be in business. You hear what Jim Bob said? You hire people full-time and give them a regular job so they can live right. And we'll, they'll make you money and you'll get rich. And that's what you want to do, and that's fine. We won't make you rich, but you're going to pay us a regular 35 hours a week. That's the new new uh, uh, full-time 35 hours. And another thing, you're going to pass a law that everybody's going to get uh, sick, paid sick time, and uh, they're going to get paid vacation. That's federal law from now on. And uh, so no more of this bullshit about uh, hiring temporaries and then uh, firing them and don't give them no benefits, stuff like that. So I'm fixing all that stuff, and we're going to fix the roads and the bridges, and the uh, way we're going to hire people is wherever the unemployment rate is the highest, that's where we're going to start the roads, 
and fix them. That's how that's going to be the criteria there. The well, highest unemployment rate is where we're going to start on the roads and fix them. And uh, we're going to fix them roads and the bridges. And uh, that's just a start. And then we'll get that done. We'll start something else. And yeah, we're going to have to raise the gasoline tax, you know, a little bit to do it. And, uh, and, and you know, just get over it. We're going to do it. And uh, that's going to give us some revenue in the budget to build the roads and fix them. We've got to do it. It's going to get done. So uh, there you go. That's what Jim Bob's going to do for job creation. I'm going to create thousands and thousands and thousands of jobs. And uh, I've got more ideas I'm going to be working on later in uh, how to get more people working out there in America. That's what America needs. Need people who can get a job and work. And uh, we're going to fix stuff so people can get jobs and work. And uh, that's what the poor man's party is all about, is, is to help people get a job and work. So there you go. That's Jim Bob's plan on the job creation. And uh, let me hear from you. We're going to um, get uh, in the White House pretty soon. And uh, well, we ain't going to the White House. The hell with the White House. We want to go to Washington. Who the hell would want to go to Washington anyways? You got to be crazy to go up there from a, in some other state and live up there. Well, I guess people like to live in Washington and live there. But I don't want to live there. I'm going to work my house uh, out of house up down here. And uh, we'll get stuff done. So Jim Bob's out for today. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless everybody. Jim Bob's out.